Hey guys, it's Brittany with Scott Leroy Marketing. Today I'm going to be showing you a workaround on how to add images to both your agent site pages and your landing pages with the layout options no longer being available. So the layout options were previously used for either centering an image or just aligning information on both the landing pages and your agent site pages where these are no longer available. We have found a workaround to use your Google Drive, which will allow you to add these images and essentially center them right on your page. Um, this process will work for both the landing page and also for your website pages. And the beauty of it is this process will also work on the mobile view. So if you pull your website up or your landing page up on your phone, the image will still be centered. So in order to do this, um, you will be needing a Gmail account. So I'm already logged into my Gmail account on a separate page. If you guys don't have a Gmail account or are not actively using Gmail, you can always use your KW email because that is a Gmail platform. So to start, I am logged into command and I'm just going to click on my consumer page. That way I can get this page started or my consumer tab. Once this section loads, I'm just gonna start by clicking on create a new site. Once this pops up, this is just giving you the option to either add this page onto your agent website, or if you're looking to create a standalone page, you can click that here. I'm going to be doing my agent site. However, the process will be the exact same no matter which option you select. So I'm gonna click on, on my agent site and then create page. <clears throat> the first thing you want to do anytime you're creating a page is just to label it. That way you can tell them apart. I'm just gonna label this one test just so I know which one it is. And then in order to make a page live, and this is true for both the landing pages and your agent site pages, you do need to have a widget added to the page. So in order to ensure this page is going to be able to be saved and made live, I'm just going to add my mobile app by clicking and dragging it onto the blank slate. That way I can put all of my information above this. So underneath my image, my mobile app will appear. Once I've done that, I'm going to click on my content blocks. And you'll notice here, previously there was more information. Now you guys have your image and your text. So we're actually gonna be using the text option. And I'm just gonna click, drag, and make sure that I'm dropping it right above the mobile app. You guys should see that green line. Once that's been added, I'm actually gonna jump into my email. And this is just my inbox. Once you're in your inbox on the top right hand corner, you guys should have these little dots. This is gonna bring you to Google Apps. We're going to click on that. And you guys should see Google Drive essentially right in the first section. If not, you guys can scroll down. Sometimes if you don't use it frequently, it gets bumped down a little bit, but this is the icon that you're looking for. Once we click on that, this is our Google Drive, and I'm just gonna start by adding the image that I'm trying to add to my website to my Google Drive. That being said, it's an image that I've saved previously on my desktop, so you do want to make sure that you have the image available to you. And all I'm gonna do is right click, upload files. Once you do that, it should by default pull up this box for you. That way you can essentially search for it. I have mine right on my desktop, so I'm just gonna open that up. And that puts my image right on my Google Drive. Once you guys have your image appear, which may take a second if it's a larger image, all you're going to do is double click it. Once you have your image populating as such, top right hand corner, you have those three dots. We're gonna click on them. 
and then we're going to click on open in a new window. Once you've done that, you'll notice you still have these three dots on the top right. We're going to click on them again. And this time we're going to click on embed item. Once you guys have that, I'm going to copy the code. And then you can come back to command. And what you're going to want to do is make sure that you add the center information. So I want to make sure you guys can see this. So what it's going to be is I'm going to do my caret or greater than, less than symbols, center, and then close that. And then you'll be able to paste the code that you just copied and then do the exact same thing. Center and close. Once you have that, you can double click the code and your image will populate for you and it's centered. If you guys have larger images or smaller images that you're trying to essentially add, you can adjust the code. However, it's my recommendation that you do adjust the code either in a Word document or really anywhere that you can paste text because if you paste it incorrectly in here, it won't let you backspace. So in other words, you would need to just completely remove this and then restart all over again. So if you guys are adjusting the code, so if I jump back over here and you guys want the sizes, for example, my width is set at 640, my height is set at 480. If you guys want that to be 100% and you want that picture to take up this entire section, you can adjust that, but it's just my recommendation that you copy this code into like a Word document or something along those lines. That way you can edit that code and then paste it into command after the fact. So once you guys have done that and you have your image populating the way that you want it to, we're just gonna click on Save Changes. You'll get this pop-up. And then we're gonna make this page live. As of right now, it has that gray eyeball. It's not yet live. So all I'm gonna click on is Site and App Settings. and then I'm gonna click on Site Pages. Once you guys have Site Pages populating, you'll see you have Add Page all the way on the bottom. You may have to scroll down, it's on the bottom left. Your new page should be the first one populating, so we'll highlight that bubble and then click Continue. And then I'm just gonna label this as Test just so you guys can see what it looks like live. and then I'll click Save Page Changes. Once you guys get that green ribbon, it means your page is now live on your website. So now what I'll do is I will copy my URL for my actual page, and I'll pull it up in a new browser. Give it a second to load. And then here's my image. So now you guys can do this with images. You guys can do this with PDFs. This exact same process will work on both landing pages and your agent site pages. But this is just a way to get your images to actually center on your website. And again, once you guys have done this, you can also go and pull that page up on your mobile app or you're on your mobile phone or on a tablet it will actually continue to center that image. So it will still center it on your mobile devices. So that's our workaround on how you guys can center images without the layout options.